Well, it's uh, night two of Survival of the Fittest tonight in Minneapolis, actually Hopkins, Minnesota, and I'm in Minneapolis right now at Lost Campion's gym, uh, trying to get a workout in before tonight. I'm sorry for the lack of updates on filming and stuff. It's just been hectic, you know. I'm uh, headed out of town soon, and my son's still so young. I'm trying to just spend time with him, and I know I could film it, but I'm just focused on hanging out with him and hanging out with my wife. But I will get some updates. I look forward to Japan because that will be a lot of updates. You know, there's some free time. There's a lot of bus, bus travel, a lot of new restaurants and, and stuff like that. So I think that will be interesting for me to show that kind of side of, of over there. You know, it might be something that a lot of people haven't seen or been accustomed to. So I'm going to get this workout in. I'm going to train a little bit of shoulders and uh, hopefully tonight I make history and become the first two-time Survival of the Fittest champion. I mean, I would bank on it because I look forward to, to the title shot. And I think that I'm, I'm going to shake things up a little bit because if I do win tonight, I think there's going to be an interesting announcement. We just got done our workout in Minneapolis with these two goofballs, Jason and Kevin Lee Davidson. Some students want to travel. Look at that little bicep he's got. <laughs> Look how cute that was. Jason hurt his ankle. Yeah. Because he's a little baby. Baby. Yeah, nah, he's a baby. Total baby. Yeah, baby. Baby. Back to getting ready. Takes way too long. I've been sitting here contemplating getting my gear on for probably about half hour now. This is the least fun of pro wrestling, I promise you. After a long drive home from Minnesota, I'm home with this little guy and obviously my beautiful wife, but it's kind of hard to film her right now. But look at him. Wave. Say hello. Say I miss daddy. I missed him even though he stayed up all night to drive nine and a half hours. Okay, I didn't stay up all night. I drove well. Drove a little bit and I slept while my students drove. But still, it was nine hours in the car in a Dodge Dart that was rented for us. And it's tiny and uncomfortable and my body aches. So, I'm gonna lie down for a bit with this little guy. And then I think we're gonna go see a movie. Anybody watching this ever ask your significant other what they want to eat? We're trying to decide on a cheat meal. Mm -hmm. And this one cannot decide on what decide. she wants. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. We still have three options. You have not fully picked. All you said is you wanted a chocolate milkshake. Yeah. Dynamite, what do you want for a cheat day? My foot? My foot? Say hello. Look, Dynamite's good with the camera. Look at him. What about you, Jax? What do you want later on? Because if mama eats it, you get it too. He wants the chocolate milkshake. He's, look at it, he does want the chocolate milkshake, doesn't he? Uh -huh. Don't you, buddy? Smile. Smile, baby. Smile. <laughs> you smile. smile. Jack, smile. So what do you want, mama? Five guys. Five guys? Okay, that's what we're getting now. Oh, I'm driving to Five Guys and McDonald's for a chocolate shake. So this is the last cheat night before I go to Japan. So I want to have a, a decent cheeseburger, some french fries, and a milkshake. Um, and I'm sorry about, this, this video might be a little bit shorter than they have been. Uh, yesterday, there was a lot going on, so I didn't film too much. And you know, backstage of wrestling shows is kind of hard to film all the time. And then today, we had to drive last night till this morning I didn't get home till like 8 30 so I've been sleeping on and off today I mean we went to see James Bond but other than that it's, it's all been sleep so uh, I'm gonna eat this meal and we gotta watch The Walking Dead tonight so other than that it's a it's a pretty easy night but hopefully hopefully we'll get some more film before I go to bed so this can go up tonight and people can watch it and watch some stuff because I'm gonna try to film a lot in Japan I think that would be something new and different for this. So uh, let's see, let's see how that goes. But for tonight, it's cheat meal. So what's your favorite cheat meals? I'd like to know. So if you can respond after watching, uh, what do you like for cheat meals? Um, if you follow any kind of any regimen, not everybody does, and that's okay. But if you do, when you like to let loose a little bit, let me hear what you like to eat. Jax is excited sitting here waiting for his turn to have the burger and fries that mommy just had. Aren't you, Jax? Aren't you, buddy? Aren't you? Aren't you excited? Smile. 
Smile. Smile. Smile. You don't know where to look. Smile, buddy. Say, I love cheeseburger and fries, don't you? Smile. 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 I don't think he wants to smile right now for camera. Are we going to get a smile on camera tonight, buddy? Are we? Hey, baby. Well, Mama's hooking up the Roku so we can watch some Walking Dead because we missed last week. And there's Sabretooth. He's being odd today. He actually wants to be around us, which is not like him. So, what's going on? Is Glenn dead or not? Glenn is not dead. I know, but at first you thought he was dead, and I said, no way he's I dead. I did, because I kind of missed the way the other guy fell. Oh. So we should put contained spoilers in this in case people have not caught up on their walking dead. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. I walked in, and Jax had fallen asleep on Mischief's lap, and I think Dynamite got jealous. Because now he wants to lie on my lap. Right, Dynamite? Oh, you want to give me kisses? Want to give me kisses? Are all women out there not into the whole dogs giving you smooches? Because my wife hates when Dynamite kisses me. Look. Mm. Oh, See? Little kisses. Little kisses from my dog. Look at that puppy. I know he's got some dry skin on his eye, like most bulldogs get. <laughs> we just finished The Walking Dead, but I have to hang up my gear so it can dry out so I can pack it tomorrow or Tuesday because I leave Wednesday uh, leaving as much as I love wrestling in Japan uh, I know I've only had the one tour but there's something about wrestling over there the fans the, the wrestling how it's viewed it's amazing but the tough thing is this will be the first time I'm away from Jax for an extended amount of time I'm over there for three and a half weeks and that's gonna be tough because uh it's always great being around him, you know. Uh, and obviously I miss my wife when I'm over there. But uh, the whole point of going over to Japan and wrestling is to try and support them, to try to give them a living. I know that, that Mischief hates having to go back to work at the beginning of December because she doesn't want to be away from Jax. Uh, so the goal of wrestling now is to get into a position where she doesn't have to go to work, where she can stay home with Jax. And, I mean, it's just it's it's heartbreaking to see that She's worried about not being home with him, you know, and missing his first steps or his first words or anything. I'm very fortunate that I get to be home during the day with him, but, uh, you know, I know how she feels because I would feel the same way. So hopefully all this leads to that and she can stay home with him. Uh, so this is the new day with Elgin going up, and uh, I'll get some more probably the day I leave, you know, in the on the plane and in the terminals and everything, the long travel day. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll try to get the sit up, uh, the sit down up before I leave. I can't guarantee anything. I might have to do that in Japan, just because I want as much time with Jackson and Mischief before I leave. But I hope you guys will will watch this one, and I promise to try and get them up more frequent again. Uh, it's just been hectic, you know, trying to spend time with them before I leave and getting everything in order. So thanks for all the support, guys, and I hope you enjoyed Survival of the Fittest. Uh, I was really really happy with with the finals, uh, especially when it came down to me and Jay. Um, I hope everyone views it and enjoys it because I enjoyed being part of it. All right, guys, uh, thank you for following. Thank you for supporting. And, uh, you know, I don't think it's said enough. Um, without fans and without people supporting us, there would be no wrestling and there would be no us. We wouldn't have the opportunity to make a living at this and do something we're so passionate about without you guys supporting it. So thank you so much.